row guy just going, yes. <laughs> the rest of you Google it, I don't care. <laughs> I hate you, Google. You've caused a lot of problems in my relationship. I shared a computer with my girlfriend, she'd look up anything. I'm gonna look up apples today. She just hits A, it's like Asian ass porn instantly. <laughs> Google's like, I'll take it from here. I know exactly what you're looking up. Well, every time you hit A, it's Asian ass porn. Google, all I ask is you let her type three letters before you jump to such a bold conclusion. It's bad enough I'm clearing my history every three hours and changing my passwords. I'm trying to have an honest relationship and you are fucking my shit up. And guess what? When I'm looking up Asian ass porn, guess who has all the time in the world? Uh, I do. I've got the house locked, the plantation shutters are closed, my keyboard is in a safe but reachable distance. Do you appreciate the picture I am painting? I am jerking it in this joke. This is highbrow stuff, guys. Oh, I'm gonna be so famous. I think we should legalize marijuana in this country. Yeah, I really do, awesome. Just so potheads have nothing to talk about ever again. Come on, it does get a little annoying after a while. Just, hey, you wanna get high? No, why not? Because I'm not in the seventh grade and I have things to do. Don't you grow up and do coke like an adult? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get some meth. No? All right, sorry, I went too far. Oh, nothing like tweaking for three days. Am I right? I love flip-flops. Do you? Women, it's okay to love men. Eh, it's 50-50, right? Because you've been stuck, you've been caught, you've been at the airport urinal in your flip-flops. Huh, not the best time. You're standing there, your feet get a little wet, you haven't started yet. Oh. Now there's a problem. You got two choices. You can, one, ignore it, live that kite runner shame as long as you can bottle it. Or you can, two, face your attacker, whisper in his ear, thank you. That's what I like before a flight to Phoenix. Get me ready for the heat. <laughs> that is a golden shower and kite runner reference in the same joke. Almost impossible. Almost impossible. I pull it off because I care. All right. I'm pro-gay marriage. Just the idea of having a man around the house. Finally, I get some stuff done. Let's go. We got chores this weekend. God hates queers. <laughs> That's me pretending to be a right-wing redneck radical protesting, not double-fisting a black cock. <laughs> you have to have the right visual or this joke's gonna hold no weight. <laughs> oh, he's picketing. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh. That didn't look like picketing. That last part didn't look like it. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> Do you want to know the answer between religion and gays? Look in the Bible. Look at Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We all know who sinned first. Come on, ladies. Do you have to eat everything? <laughs> no, I know. You were hungry, and there was a snake talking to you. Stick to that story. That's scary. If a snake told me, eat an apple, I'd be like, all right. I didn't know you could talk. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I hope it's a Granny Smith. I like those. They're sour. If it's a golden delicious, I'm like, leave me alone, snake. I'm eating peaches. You talked to me in two months, and then Fuji apples are ready. <laughs> and chronologically, that joke is accurate. I know a lot about apples. <laughs> now we have to be punished for all mankind because of you women eating an apple? What was women's punishment? Do you even know? Painful childbirth, menstrual cycles. Man's punishment? We have to deal with women. That's why I get so upset when people are like, God hates gays. God doesn't hate gay people. He's just upset because they found a loophole in his system. <laughs> Wouldn't that upset you if you came up with a great punishment? And they're like, oh, we're just going to sleep with each other. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier than listening to that. Nya, 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 nya. Listen, 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 listen. If I lost a leg, would you still love me? Like, what? No. A leg? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a bold move to test our love with a limb. You could have started with a fingernail, found out real quick I'm shallow. 
<laughs> you lose a leg. I saw a guy on the freeway you'd be perfect for. <laughs> Matchmaker! Honestly, girls, if there's any woman in here that ends up dating me and you lose your leg, God forbid, I hope it doesn't happen. But if you do, and we're dating, the only thing you can be sure of is, I will push you over. <laughs> All right? I will push you over and be like, you ain't no weeble wobble. <laughs> you ain't no weeble wobble. <laughs> oh, my job is so good. That whole joke, that whole stupid long joke is just to get to a point where I can yell, you ain't no weeble wobble. I am all for women that decide to get plastic surgery because plastic surgery allows you the rare opportunity to make your outer appearance reflect your inner appearance. Fake. <laughs> Which is a positive joke for women, unless of course you have fake boobs. Let's be honest, you're not bright enough to get that joke. <laughs> How's that feel, whores? Huh? Yeah. Just keep telling yourself you did it so your shirts would fit better. You did it because you're a whore. You forgot because you're stupid. Enjoy your free drinks. I'll buy. I love big titties. Ah, yeah. You got big titties, then top shelf. Small titties, mm, beer in a can. You ever been to a third world country? Not a boob job in the bunch, yet they still find happiness. And that's discouraging, because they're tough to look at. No, no, I know you have a hair lip, but why not work on that rack first? <laughs> I'm from America. Don't speak your booga booga language. <laughs> By the way, I hate soccer. <laughs> and we wonder why other countries think we're a train wreck when we have shows like The Swan, Extreme Makeover. I don't want to develop a personality. You're better off cutting my face. <laughs> Am I happy? Am I, this is the expression I ordered, happy. <laughs> Put me on Extreme Makeover. I'd like a vagina under my arm. <laughs> yeah, that's extreme. I don't even know if they can do this surgery. Whatever, I signed the waiver. Let's go, Doc, drill. You know how I like it, 5 16th and juicy like a starburst. This joke gets worse. Hang in there, all right? My friends make, you look different. I'll be like, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, man. Are you ticklish? Uh, are you? All right, come on, guys, two fingers. There you go. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. Now I know why I call you best friend forever. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious that I don't pander in my act, but just in case there's any women in here that have had plastic surgery or considering getting plastic surgery, know that I'm just making light of a social issue. I don't give a shit either way at all. Please save your breath. Don't come up to me after a show make, I've got fake boobs and I'm not stupid. <laughs> That's the only thing I've come up with to make that moment equally uncomfortable for you. <laughs> I know you're not stupid. I'm telling jokes. I've had plastic surgery. I could care less. Who knows? I have. How old do you think I am? Hmm? I'm 59. I am. Check my MySpace page. You can't lie on there. I'm 59. My lips are not this voluptuous. I don't know if you're familiar with the procedure, but a lot of times I'll take some from your back section, inject it into your lips. What? I don't have a lot back there. So I was forced to use my dick fat. Because I've always been told I have a fat dick. That's why I wear black condoms, because they're slimming. That's a joke, I don't wear condoms. I don't, I don't. It's against my religion. I'm kind of mad that you asked. Do you know how hard it is to grow up when you're a little bit different than all the other kids? Every day in school, I would hear it. There goes Daniel. He's got a fat, fat dick. <laughs> and I would run home crying. Mother, why is my dick so fat? And she'd be like, because your real father's Samoan. Is that why I hate The Rock? And she said yes. And then we watched the rundown and we wept. And yes, chronologically, this joke makes no sense at all. But I don't know any older Samoans. So The Rock is my dad. <laughs> Woo! That joke was long! 
Oh, yeah. Guess who has cat-like reflexes? <laughs>